For a number of children, trauma, extreme stress, can be like trying to swim to safety, but never reaching that shoreline. They are cold, they are wet, they are tired, and they want to give up. When children are traumatized, they become emotionally detached from persons, persons who may care for them. The other side of the coin is that sometimes they become attached to persons who do not have their best interests at heart. Those persons who will further traumatize them, abuse them, and then leave them for neglect once more. The traumatized brain is not a healthy brain. So imagine trying to get a child to perform well in school, get good grades, be socially involved, be respectful to teachers, show respect for themselves. Their self-esteem can be very low and their abilities or talents are seen as insignificant. They are experiencing pain. Many of them simply accept what they are going through. They become helpless and accepting their lot, accepting their life, they give up. The shoreline seems never able to be reached. A number of our children are simply giving up. They are turning to negative or toxic friends, but not feeling apart. They are looking for emotional connections. They are looking to form relationships, but they are still feeling isolated. Many of our children are engaging in self-harm, cutting, pulling, scraping themselves, engaging in high-risk sexual activities, engaging in drug use. They are looking to heal the pain, looking for emotional stability, trying to self-regulate, but not having proper coping skills. They are consistently feeling isolated, feeling sad, and a number of our children who have been traumatized are developing mental health problems. In order to help those children, it is important that conscientious persons look for ways to assist. Show more love. Show more care. Instead of simply saying no to a child, give explanations as to why they should not engage in a particular behavior. Give examples. Give illustrations. Give stories. Continue in spite of how they may react to you at first. To be there for them. To offer care, love, and respect. A child who is traumatized needs your help.